turkey tail is a bracket fungus which has been used for thousands of years for its medicinal benefits. In this video, I'm going to give you a seven step method on how to identify it successfully. By the end of the video, you should have the tools and the confidence to identify it yourself. Turkey tail can be found on dead or decaying wood. It's been used in Eastern medicine for thousands of years. In the West, it's undergone many clinical trials to identify its medicinal benefits. In recent years, it's become hugely popular. Paul Stamets, the well-known mycologist, probably paid a huge part in this after he shared with the world how his mother recovered from breast cancer and how the turkey tail mushroom played a key part in her recovery. The turkey tail itself is actually really simple to identify. The issue people seem to have is that it has many, many lookalikes but if you follow this seven step guide you'll find that none of the other lookalikes have all of these seven properties so let's get into it and have a look at these seven steps on identifying the turkey tail check number one colorful distinct coloration zones turkey tails can be many different colors blue gray gray brown black green all sorts if it's one color or colors clearly blend into each other it's not a turkey tail as you can see on this specimen here, each band is quite distinct and they all emanate from the center. Check number two, a white cap margin. The final band closest to the edge of the turkey tail is always white. This is actually my favorite clue as it helps draw your eye to the fungus in the first place. Especially if you find a cluster of turkey tails, this white band can really draw your eye towards them. If the cap does not have a white cap margin, it is not a turkey tail. Check number three, a fuzzy velvety cap. If you run your finger along the top of the turkey tail, you should have a velvety feeling. It doesn't look very furry when you look at it, and you certainly can't see any hairs by eye, but it definitely has a velvety feeling when fresh. Keep note that if the turkey tail is dried, it does lose this feeling and it becomes more smooth. If the fungus looks very furry, or fuzzy, then you have not found a turkey tail. Check number four. The underside is always white to off-white when fresh. When you flip over the fungus and you find that it isn't white, then it's unlikely to be a turkey tail. One point to note that when the turkey tail is dried, it does begin to discolor, as you can see in this one here. Check number five. The underside has pores. Now these pores are tiny, but depending on your eyesight, you should be able to make them out. If you turn over the fungus and you find anything other than pores, it's not a turkey tail. If you find teeth or gills or anything like that, then it's not a turkey tail. Similarly, if the underside is completely smooth, again, it is not a turkey tail. If the underside is smooth, you may have found a very common lookalike called the false turkey tail, which does have a smooth underside and does not have any pores. Check number six, the turkey tails are thin and flexible when fresh. When fresh, if you take the turkey tail between your fingers, you should quite clearly be able to bend it back and forth. Some other lookalikes can be quite thick or chunky, and some of them can be very brittle. Again, one thing to keep note of is that if the turkey tail is dry, then it does harden up and become more brittle. Check number seven. The average size is about three to five centimeters across. Much more than that, and it's unlikely to be a turkey tail. You can get many bracket funguses which are much larger, but these are not going to be turkey tails. So if you find a specimen which looks a bit like a turkey tail, but it's as large as your hand, for example, it's not going to be a turkey tail. And there you have it. Those are the seven steps on how to identify the turkey tail mushroom. Hopefully now you can refer to these seven steps and go out and identify them yourself. If you enjoyed this video, you may enjoy my other mushroom and plant ID videos, which I've both produced and are upcoming. If you want to stay tuned, please do like and subscribe to see more.